How are you doing, everybody? My name is Gray Boy, and today I'm going to be talking about, you know, the Baltimore Ravens. And before we get started, I just want to make some, a couple things clear. Um, I This video is not scripted. It's going to be, like, personal, kind of, I guess, if you want me to put it. So there's that. And before we um, start talking, make sure you like and subscribe. So I'm going to to do that. All right, you done it? All right, bet. Now we're going to start talking. Now we're going to start talking about the Ravens. So, I've had a kind of like two, three long history of relationship or whatever you want to call it with the Ravens. Both last year and this year were like the most stressful years of my life with the Ravens currently. Because the amount of like times the uh, entire franchise can stay healthy and the horrible staff was effing uh, horrible. Like it was frustrating, not going to lie. However, um, while we were, I was watching the wild card. And I, while we were coming in, I had no faith that the Ravens are going to win. Like, no one on Twitter did at all. Um, for example, um, before the wild card, last week, or the week before the wild card, they beat like they, they, they destroyed us. The Bengals destroyed us. Like, it was horrible. So I had no faith coming in the Ravens coming into this game. And it was it was a shitty first half. Not going to lie. They had, they had us in the first half. But we actually came back, and I'm, I'm very surprised. And then we were on. And then if you heard the legendary play and the, the 98-yard return, I'm gonna show you from my point of view what happened. I was like, "All right, bet I'm gonna go." I, I know um, Greg Roman's gonna make um, J.K. Dobbins run it in at the easy touchdown, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to use the bathroom. So I go use the bathroom and I come back. What the hell? What just happened? Why are they winning? What happened? We don't. We're right, right there. And I was like wondering. Oh, now I see why. And if you guys didn't see the Ravens game, basically, um, instead of J.K. Dobbins running in the ball. Tyler Huntley um, had to do a QB. They did made Tyler Huntley do a QB sneak, and I don't know if you guys know this, but I think in a QB sneak, you're supposed to go like in the in like the line or under the line, and so you don't sneak it in. So, but instead of doing that, he tries to jump over, and then all it takes for someone to get to get the ball or to fumble the ball is poke their head up, and then that's it. He loses it. Exactly what happens. He fumbles the ball, and then oh my god, it was it was chaos for a 98 yard return. We did not we did not come back after that. We almost come came back again, but we did it. Um. So either way, now I was watching the game closer, and my other my my other siblings already went to bed. The Ravens fans too, by the way. And um, I was extremely pissed. I was just waiting for them to just you know try and make a comeback or try air it out last minute or whatever. But I, e either way, um, Tyler Huntley makes an actual decent throw, the most decent throw I've ever seen the entire season from him in his whole career with the Ravens I've ever seen, like, at all. And he, I, was, I think, so, I can't remember who exactly, but I think it was Mark Andrews. He dropped sick. There's, like, two, three people on him. But another guy, another wide receiver, James Porsche, I don't know how to say his name, I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry. And James Porsche or something, who, on Twitter, Ravens fans constantly saying, Give this guy, oh, let, me, let me do my voice, give this man an option, give this man uh, an opportunity, you know, he will probably succeed, he'll probably be a really good wide receiver. He, uh, he dropped the ball. So there's that. And then we didn't come back. And then we lost the wild card. I, I wasn't too happy after that. Anyways, um, yeah, so now you're probably wondering, well, I'm not. I thought this deal was about Greg Roman, not the you know the um the wild card. Yeah, I know, I know. Listen, I'm getting to that. So one day I was just going on Twitter, watching the world burn from a bunch of hot takes about how Goku's smart because of a ginormous battle like you. And then I see, oh shoot, the Ravens have finally fired Greg Roman. Finally, yes, let's go. And I saw a guy or some sort of like guy or some person on like ESPN or Twitter or something saying this would be a horrible decision for the Ravens because apparently Lamar Jackson and the franchise did better with Greg Roman. Uh, he showed them the statistics of when Greg Roman came and after with Lamar Jackson. Um, and he and it was all right, I guess, for me. I don't really know how it is for everyone else, but for me, I felt all right, I guess. But um, he didn't show the ones without, Lamar, without Greg Roman and Lamar Jackson's stats. And I looked them up. I think they were better before he came. So I probably like that you rolled his entire argument. But anyways, um, either way, there was that as well. And then yeah, and I saw some other 49ers fans like, man, you know, 
I remember when I was when I was like uh, the first like in my mouth for Niners fan or whatever, and I remember seeing all these Greg Roman tweets like fire Greg Roman, he's not a 49 or whatever he he sucks he shouldn't coach 49ers anymore, uh L Greg Roman fire Greg Roman Greg Roman shouldn't play football he should he should I don't know what he's doing, but yeah so they finally um yeah, they, they they fired him he finally they, they they finally got rid of him and thank God good riddance now. About the ESPN guy, I don't know if he's either stupid or just doesn't watch the games and just watching the box score. But from the box score, I guess it would look all right, it look like we're just having a bad season or something. But if you watch the actual games, you would understand like how horrible the play calling was from Greg Roman. I mean, like it was horrible, it was ass, like straight bad. It was really, really bad. Like, and you want a perfect example? Here is one. Greg Roman called for Tyler Holly to QB sneak it. Not run it in with J.K. Dobbins. In fact, I remember reading a tweet saying that everyone was pissed. Lamar Jackson said he was pissed. Apparently, J.K. Dobbins was pissed too because he didn't um he didn't get a single touch in the red zone, so he was mad about that as well. And most people were just upset, like really like grade eight, like butthurt upset. So yeah, there's that as well. Anyways, um yeah, so now the Ravens have finally fired their worst link in their chain. We're finally now Super Bowl bound. We just gotta uh, do some more things. Now I don't know if the Ravens actually listen or watch this video or whatever, but uh, I'm gonna just say right now, here's what we should do during the off season: try to get a, a new backup QB. Cause look, Tyler Huntley is not gonna cut it. He's not that guy. He's like a third string or fourth string at best. He's he's not really that good. I like, Snoop is good and all, but like no, he he he's not. He's just not. No no. Anyways, but yeah, so there's that. He, there's that. You should probably trade for DeAndre Hopkins or some other wide receiver don't cost us all of our draft picks and draft a new QB. Now, before now before I would normally say fire Greg Roman or get rid of John Hamburg or something or like get rid of most of the staff, but John Hamburg, I mean not John Hamburg, I'm sorry, I'm sorry buddy. It's Greg Roman and Snoop or are like weakest links, not gonna lie. Like we have a lot of good good players on the team. Like this is a good roster but bad franchise. Like, for example, you have a good roster. Lamar Jackson, Justin Tucker, Mark Andrews, who else? <laughs> Chris Campbell, Tyrus Bowser, Patrick Queen, Marlon Humphrey. You have, a, you have a lot of good people on this team. You ha And then you have horrible coaching and horrible, you have horrible time management, like Greg Roman's time management and the wild card. And then you have Greg Roman's horrible pay calling and his ass passing scheme that expired about three years ago so there's that there are there are a lot i mean a lot of different like things that mess up the franchise but that was one of our main ones so yeah so we have to, we should draft a new qb and get rid of snoop maybe make him like third or fourth string or something then we should probably find a, a trade for deandre hopkins or find some sort of wide receiver that's good but won't cost us all of our draft picks or all of our uh, good players or whatever and it's not too expensive. And then maybe it'd be pretty much that to draft a new QB if Lamar Jackson's like the lease or a Lamar Jackson backup. And then we're all fine. That's, that's literally it. Once we do all those, will be Super Bowl bound. I promise you. 17 out of 17 season incoming. You already know uh, Ravens on top next year. Uh, I bet my money that Ravens are going to do, go, do good and win the championship, win Super Bowl if we do all that. So, uh, um, Steve Piscotti, if you're watching this, uh, do what I say and we'll probably be a 10 out of 10 team in a. 17 out of 17, fran I mean 17 and no franchise, and we'll be Super Bowl bound, I promise you. But uh, anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're feeling a little a little helpful today, maybe uh, be C. Piscotti, please. Please do what I say, please. I want the Ravens to go to Super Bowl this, this year, please. I really I really want to see it. But um, yeah, so like and subscribe, and I might, watch, I might make some new videos later today. So make sure you want to look for that if you're interested. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. I'll see you guys later. And remember, boys, remember, remember, always, always, always. Don't jump over a QB sneak.